Are you familiar with the happiness index? The first time I got exposed to the happiness index was in 1999, 2000, mm -hmm. where I was still working at the National Treasury in South Africa. And one of my sharpshooters in the team came to me and said, Elias, I think I want to change profession. And he said he wants to go and study the economics of happiness. <laughs> the economics of happiness. It resonated with this guy because in his mind he was saying, we are doing a lot as the National Treasury to improve the welfare of societies but we are unable to measure it. Yes. Neither are we able to measure the satisfaction of what we do as professionals. What we have learned in economics is that it is not the peaks that matter. Mm. It is the stability of your success over time. So your income does not necessarily have to rise at a rapid pace for you to record success. What is important is for you to be content with the income that you have. That somebody is earning half of what you're earning, they may actually be much more content than you with your higher income. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And one of the lessons that you said your mother taught you and that you carry forward, and I suspect you would have your children learn as well, is giving selflessly. In fact, the lesson that we got from our parents is that you should learn to give not to receive. Mm. As a result, we never got any birthday presents. We never really? got any Christmas presents. The hype that you see here, we don't know about it. Wow. I have actually translated that into my family. My children don't get Christmas presents. They don't get uh, birthday presents. The only time they are awarded is when they've passed well at school. We went to visit Cliptown and my children were young and the conversation on the way back was, wow, mom, the kids were so happy. For me, it's about putting the society around you first before you concern yourself with yourself. Mm, interesting. Yeah. And do you have a practice of giving? And if so, oh, yeah. how, do, how, did you, how do you institute that with your family? It's a family-driven program which gives to the poor, which provides scholarships to children emerging out of low-income households. And that is an initiative which we are running as a family and making sure that all our children understand what it means and they also prepare themselves to living that lifestyle going forward. So, we may not be able to resolve the, so, the, 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 the social imbalances of the country, but our contribution, little as it is, is a deep lesson to the people around us. And what we have found is that this lesson has now been adopted by other families ah. in the environment we live. Is that right? That's yeah. great.